Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. We're continuing our recovery after that disastrous decision to attack the Sanguifage, which resulted in Katya losing her heart, but also resulted in us getting an immortal punching bag to, you know, punch and do medicine practice on. Uh, yeah. That, that, that's a good thing, I guess. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, never traders come up. Hopefully they have medicine so that we can actually repair Katya and get on top of all the various quests and things that we would like to be doing with our lives. Uh, what do, what do we want? We want medicine. We want medicine. Tell me to have some freaking medicine. Really? Really? You're a bulk goods trader and you have no medicine? What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> Huh. There's just no winning. That's, uh, that's the lesson I've learned in life. Just no winning. Just pain. Constant, agonizing pain. You know, once we're done with all the cotton stuff that we want cotton for, we should start growing some Devil Strand. Oh shoot, we're already out of food. Well, that's going to make people upset. Very well, we'll let uh, Petronella do some cooking. It's going to result in everyone getting uh, food poisoning again, but... I guess sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And also, Wolf, despite, you know, it being your job to clean everything, doesn't seem to be doing that great a job of cleaning everything. So that makes me mad. Didn't realize just how much we needed Katya to get stuff done around here. Now you lose even one person. But, you know, that's just another reason why we should really make sure we're pursuing... Actually, no, look at that. Wolf's, Wolf's kind of getting stuff done. I want to get this build first, though. Also, this giant edifice. Poopy, huh? What a name. And you're kind of poopy, so, you know what? don't really want you. 8 by 11. I mean, again, this is always tempting because the these little things have interesting shapes, and sometimes those shapes could be useful for, like, building our temple. Which, come to think of it, uh, let's see here. If I extend this a little bit for the reliquary, Perhaps that'll also make a resting shape. Well, not really, because I have to do this. Because I just, I just can't tolerate having walls that, you know, like you don't technically need this diagonal, but I just can't, I can't tolerate a world where you don't have the, don't have the stuff. Also, speaking of stuff. Who need kneel pillows? It matters what, uh... Does that actually really matter? I wonder. Might. Just kinda keep shoving this fervor and fervor back. And this is all just placeholder, mind you. Yeah, it's a little too close, but this. I don't know if we're ever going to have this many people. We'll need little uh, kneeling pillows. Yeah, I kind of like this. Though, you know, I, I sort of imagine it as you're not necessarily going to be kneeling, but like people like sit all cross-legged on these things. You know, everyone's comfortable. It's a nice, our, our belief system, it's a nice relaxed religion. Called a kneel pillow, but no one's actually kneeling on these things, you know. There's no servants, there's no gods or masters here. Just, uh, Life of a Water Gatherer by Nelson Chandler. The water gatherer stopped contributing, but kept eating from the common store. I killed him with a cactus club. The people were shocked, but I explained that my death and yours will mean nothing as long as our people go on. It is something I'll never forget. Okay. That's, uh... Was that always the description? 
For some reason, I, I feel like I've got this like memory in my head of it being something else at one point. You know what, I'm going to skip out on this because we, we've got too much of our own building to do. I'm not entirely sure what all these different walls or, or rooms are going to be yet, but I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Alright, we, we've got a little too much wood going on here. You know, instead of being a sucker, let's... Uh... Ah, no, I do want you to place yourself. I should get the underground power lines mod. I mean, you know what? No, I keep... You know what? At some point, this playthrough is just going to turn into a, a modded playthrough. I can pretty much guarantee it. Morgan's also a good uh, miner, so let's, uh, let's have him mine stuff, because I do want that geothermal plant up and running at some point. Uh, power, that's what I'm looking for. Get these power lines going. Yeah, you know what? At some point, I am going to get the... This is this whole thing is going to be a modded playthrough. <laughs> I, I might as well just stop kidding myself, huh? I don't know entirely what I'm doing here. I do know... I, di I just hate these, like, visible power lines. Like, who who leaves power lines lying on the floor? Now, if, if we were saying that they were, you know, above the pawns... Oh, shoot. Iris, guns drawn! And actually run back to the base. Might be a smart idea as well. I mean, this would have been the perfect chance while it's crossing the river to shoot it dead, but... Oh, Petra's going to hunt the wolf. Okay, jolly good. Okay, maybe, uh... Yeah, get it somewhere where we can... Uh, the wolf is trying to kill you. You could have started shooting at any time now. Run. <laughs> Petra, you fool! The damn wolf is right there. You idiot. <laughs> uh, we better get Matt in, or Morgan. Why do I keep calling you Matt? Is your first name... Your first name is literally Morgan. I'm an idiot. Please tell me. Now, you all... You, you had that for a while. Hey, come on. All right, Iris, uh, maybe uh, run in circles so that Petra... I don't know. Well, that worked out nicely. Got scratched a little bit. Go ahead and tend to yourself. Are you carrying medicine? No. Yeah. A little worried that something like that was going to happen. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's open up the old world map here. Just take a take a look at things. Got a number of little uh, sites. Worship. You know, we do need to do these village quests at some point. Our nearest friends are all the way down here. They would surely have met. Oh. They would surely have medicine. Surely. I, it, it's inconceivable that they would not. Okay, Wolf is getting stuck. We need children as well. You guys need to start hooking up and making babies. Seriously, children are one of the most useful things in this game. They're just, like, free hauling and cleaning. Then they, you know, they do all kinds of good stuff. Petra, what the hell are you doing mining? I mean, you do like mining. Well, actually, no, you don't. Why are you prioritizing that over... Well, I guess we have nothing to craft right now. Alright, maybe... Maybe you should haul and clean as well. Alright, we, we, need, we need to get stuff done around here. Nothing's getting done. I, I'm very, very upset. Anyway, I kind of want to fast forward things a little until, uh, you know, we get Katya back up and alive again. You know, the best part is we literally can just leave you here and you will never die. Like, this must be hell. True hell. He cannot die, but at the same time, uh, he cannot live. It is truly... He does have a mouth, so he... You think he screams? No, he's shattered his jaw. He can't even talk. We've probably, like, sewn his jaw shut. Or something. Or it's shattered, so... Well, he, he can scream. Which, I just imagine, there's like a vent here. So imagine poor Wolfie has to listen to this man screaming. You know, like... How... 
He's 1,562 years old, uh, biologically, or chronologically. Biologically, he's only 75, but like, you know, imagine that. All the things he must have seen and done in his life to get here, and how has it ended? With me. He, with me. I ended his life. He's now just like a, a living chicken McNugget that we can uh, suck blood out of. Because, you know, as everyone knows, Chicken McNuggets are full of juicy, tasty blood. And, you know, we, we beat up on him to take out our anger. And then we patch him back up so we can learn medicine. We're sadists, damn it. Complete monsters. Truly. Didn't have to be this way. I didn't want to be this way. <laughs> but the rim won't let me be a good man. Also, we've got, like, cotton that's, like, rotting in the field here because no one is plant cutting it. You know what? I gotta... I gotta make everyone be a plant cutter, even if you have no skill. Like, we, it, it's just too important that we get this stuff done. I mean, maybe not with the corn, but uh, with everything else. Actually... You're not doing terrible for someone with no skill. There we go, Iris. Why were you resting any- Oh yeah, you got attacked by a wolf. Right. Alright, and we're just gonna keep working on converting Morgan. No, no, you, you can rest when you're dead, Katja. Or, Iris. Gotta- we gotta make our- our good carpety things. Oh, mercy me. What have I become? What have I become? No, 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 fin finish the job. Finish it! Should have, you know, I should have kept that wake up and then... Then had them, uh, you know, use it. Oh boy. Do we even have space to store all this? Cotton? Or cloth. It's cloth, not cotton. This. Okay. So we do have a space to store it. I guess. All right. I'll, I'll let you rest a bit. As long as some work is getting done, I guess I can't be. I can't be too mad. I think this will be our permanent cotton uh, thing, eventually. This will eventually become our main food growing thing. This will be the auxiliary food growing thing, which will you know maybe make Devil Strand in the off season. Medicine. You don't really need a lot of Tinctoria, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Why am I hiding this? I have no idea. I'm sure I had some reason for wanting to hide it, but, uh... Yeah. Oh my. Lots of quests there. You know, I don't want to steal people's logs. I don't want to steal their food. Someday we'll get to this. The mechanic... Uh, the Mechanidor ship... At some point, we're going to do. Out of curiosity, can I feed this to Katya? Like, is that an option? No. That that should be a thing. In the off chance, you know, someone... Someone sees that. Someone should do something with that. What are you doing? No! Don't feed that to Matt, you idiot! <laughs> He does not get blood. He does not get blood. Drop it. Stop doing that. Okay. Why, why Why? are you even feeding him? He gets no hemogen. None. He will sleep and he will think about the evils he has done. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting a little aggressively angry here, so I figure... Let's just uh, fast forward a little bit until till something happens, and I will, uh, yeah, just kind of let the colony come together as best we can, anyway.
Alrighty then, so, as you can see, with a uh, little bit of micromanaging, I have been able to really get the colony going places. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy about that. Not entirely sure still what I'm doing there. But, uh, you know, it, it's coming along. We're slowly working on converting Morgan. That's always a good thing, I guess. You know, this this isn't quite what I was hoping for. But, oh my god, they've got medicine. Give me. Give me all your medicine. All of it. Give you all these garbage guns. And these pants. I hope people are still wearing pants. Assuming they want to wear pants, that is. Uh, you know, I'll get rid of this too. And, you know, one of the guns. It's always good to keep some extra guns in case we recruit people, but no sense in keeping too much on hand that we don't need. All right. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. Morgan. Wait. Where the hell did your heart go? Was I wrong this whole time? No, someone's already... Someone's already inserted the heart. I didn't even notice that happened. But her heart is back, baby! Ha-ha! Success! I mean, the important thing is we do have medicine now in case we, you know, need medicine. So that's... That's never a bad thing. I am also... I don't know where I got Plasteel from, but we have some Plasteel. And I'm kind of thinking of placing auto doors. You know, just because they're they're faster than regular doors. In, in, in fact, all our doors should eventually be plasteel. So if we have stone and then plasteel, then none of our buildings can actually catch fire. Which, you know, that's generally a pretty good thing. I think most of us would agree. Alright. Now we also got our power generation up. And at some point I'm going to build these water mill generators, but... I'm going to kind of treat it as, like, a as-needed basis. As, uh, oh my god, catches up. All right. Hello, Clay. A fraptious day. All right, no one, no one's terribly mad. Can I feed on the blood of vampires? Damn. Can I extract your blood? No. Okay. So the only thing you're good for is beating up on in order to take your... I mean, I don't have to do any maintenance on them. I guess that's a small plus. All right. I, I like saving these, but we we got to get some blood because... Yeah. Does it cause any other issues? Mostly pain and it lowers our consciousness, which is, you know, these are never good things. Let's get Kacha up and running. So we're going to need to capture another prisoner, is what I'm uh, gathering from all this. I am selecting the hemogen pack. All right, good. So that 20 should last us for a little bit. And I think... All right, so we got all this stuff to take care of. Well, let's, let's call down the ship. We can do a somewhat longer episode. Alright, deconstruct. Uh, I was going to say, let's send Morgan, but... Uh, God, I hope Katja doesn't get screwed over by this. Alright, Katja. Let's kill it. Oh my. He really has been dead a long time. If I can just peel this mech layer out of his head. Cool, cool. What about the description? Short range ship used by a Mechanator to transport mechs. You know, I like the look of this. You know, the, uh... I hope this gets added to something. Are you, uh, attacking the Scorcher? I'm pretty sure- you know what? It's also raining. This is the perfect time. Uh, excuse me? Why, why are we in- 
So I assume this was uh, this guy's. Wait, does that mean I can build flame-throwing mechs? Oh, baby. Not gonna use piercing spines at this stage. Not that, that would be a good idea. Uh, there's also a bunch of marble here we should harvest. Yeah, look at that. It can't... I sh I didn't give you your sword! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a fool. But we're still punching the heck out of you, so that's uh, a good thing. And also, this is really useful for emergency healing type purposes. Ha <laughs> ha! Success. Gear? Oh wait, why am I surprised that it has gear? I don't know. All right, let's peel this thing out of his head. Or then again, should I make my immortal vampire the Mechanitor? I was thinking of having it be Morgan, but a psychic mechanist vampire. Oh, we're like doing sim stuff here. We're just like stacking everything. So do I have to install this through surgery? Let's find out as we wrap this episode up. A bionic implant that allows direct... Okay, it's an implant, so probably. Uh, that allows direct control of mechanoids. Mech links are used by soldiers to control war mechs and by workers to control labor mechs. A person with a mech link is known as a mechanator. Mech links are self inst Okay, it's self-installable. Press into the back of the throat. Ugh. Self- Oh my god. Can you- Can you picture that? Like, you take this thing, and it weighs one kilogram. So, well, one kilogram's not that much, but, you know, that's like a- You know, a couple of slices of- of nice sliced deli ham. But anyway, you, you take this- So I reached into this- Well, I guess he was a skeleton, so I just kind of peeled it off. But, like, you have to stick it into the back of your throat. Ugh. Why are these things so gross? Like, the uh, neurotrainers are like a needle that you stab into your eyeball. Good God. Anyway. Uh, basically, the short of this is, as cool as this stuff is, I could never use this tech in real life because I'm far too squeamish. I'd, I'd have to be sedated and have someone, you know, do it to me. Now, well, maybe in an emergency situation. I don't know. If, you know, the adrenaline was rushing. Anyway, where were we? Uh, injects itself through the flesh to clamp inside the base of the skull where it meets the spinal cord. Why do you have to inject it uh, in your throat? Why can't you just you know, stab it in the back of your neck. I mean, I guess if it's in your throat, then it's internal. So, you know, less chances of... I, 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 I'm getting distracted here. Let's just read the damn thing. Okay, so it meets the spinal cord. There it threads a web of ultrafine wires for nearby neuronal tissue to make the direct mental link between the user and the mechanoid control band. Mech links are not simple devices for sending radio signals to mechanoids, because mechanoids are not merely robots. In addition to traditional computers, mechanoids have a dim psychic presence. So fluently controlling them requires a psychic connection. By linking Mechanitor and Mechanoid both psychically and electromagnetically, the mech link permits deeper control than screen and button interfaces. Since the mech link interlaces deep within the brain tissue, it can only be removed after death. Mechanator must be capable of smithing to gestate mechanoids. Gestate? That's kind of gross. It sounds like I'm throwing them inside me. Alright, before you go, let's deconstruct this thing. Alright, so there we are. Your Mechanator can create mechs at a production building called a mech gestator. Okay. And there is something about bandwidth. Which, uh, you know, we'll want to deal with at some point. Go ahead and haul that back, would you? Lifter attached. Pods arrived. Oh wait, a robot just shows up? Okay. A lifter was dropped from orbit and is placing itself under the control of Katya. Seems to have been attached to a mech link and is eager to serve its purpose once again. Yeah, just don't, you know, pay attention to your dead guy here. Hello, little guy. Uh, auto repair. That sounds cool. Group one. Control group one. Hauling marble- Oh, and it's gonna haul stuff for us. Well, Wolfie, looks like we don't need you anymore. <laughs> ah, lovely. All right, and we've got this new mechs tab. Katya, control group one. Ooh, I can even choose its color. Uh, let's see. You know, I kind of wish these, like, these clearly uh, correspond to the colors. I sort of wish that 
if I hovered over it, I got a little tooltip saying the color name. Anyway, uh, that uh, rambliness aside, I think it's time to wrap this episode up. So, yeah. Till the next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.